Uh, good morning, everybody. It's my privilege uh, to welcome to Washington and to the State Department uh, His Excellency the President of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed. Uh, actually, I'm welcoming him back to Washington. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, met previously, and I'm very pleased uh, to be able to welcome him here. Uh, the United States obviously has uh, uh, been engaged in helping Somalia fight back against uh, uh, tribal terror and the challenges to the cohesion of the state of Somalia. And the president and his allies have really done an amazing job of fighting back and building a state structure. There's work yet to be done in Puntland and Somaliland, and uh, we encourage you to continue the work uh, of reaching out, of reconciliation, and of building the democracy, and I know he's committed to that. I also want to thank uh, the President for his rapid support of the joint statement on Syria, and we appreciate that kind of global recognition of what is at stake in Syria. And finally, I just say that uh, uh, Somalia is working hard now to uh, create its own ability to defend itself, to defend the state. Uh, we will continue to work. There is a United Nations mission there. We are committed to both, to the independent ability of the state of Somalia, as well as the United Nations mission to help it in this transition. And we're very happy to welcome uh, the President here to talk today about issues of mutual interest. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary. Uh, and it's me, it was a pleasure and privilege to be here again in this year uh, in the State Department and the United States. And uh, we, as the Secretary said, probably we're working very hard together to establish the national institutions in all areas, particularly in security, where we are working very hard. <coughs> with the Amazon forces and uh, our national army is now taking shape and building up of course with the support of the United States government that has always been with us and this is a time we came here to share with the ideas the way forward we have in particularly the vision 2016 where we want Somalia to go into the poll stations and make a voting for the first time in 40 years more than 40 years even and as you rightly said, we have been engaging with different stakeholders in Somalia. Uh, the federal government has the leadership, the parliament, all visiting different corners of Somalia to consult and listen to them. And the product of that consultation was the recent compact document signed in Brussels on the 16th of this month. Uh, I myself and the prime minister, the speaker of the house, the parliamentarians, key ministers have been traveling all over Somalia, although the situation in, in traveling locally is very difficult, but even then, you have to sit with the people, listen to them, uh, share with them the plans that we are intending and asking them what type of Somalia they want to see in the future. So based on that, we have signed agreements with uh, Pontland State and uh, recent agreement with uh, Juba, uh, regional administrations, mm -hmm. and of course, we also did the same with Al Sunnah or Jama'a in the central region. So, it's bit, it will take some time. We have our own differences, but we are in a better shape than ever before now. We're shaping for the first time a uh, united and federal Somalia. The constitution is progressing, and the federal system is working very hard. The federal government is working on all its cap capability to establish the federal unities in an order, in a orderly manner and with the, in accordance and compliance with the federal constitution. So there's a huge uh, progress that is going on in Somalia. And again, we are very much grateful with the support we received from the United States government through bilateral and through multilateral. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Please come. Thank you. Thank you.